you raise your right hand. You, Harry S. Truman, do solemnly swear. I, Harry S. Truman, do solemnly swear. You will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. That I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of your ability, and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. with a hearty grin on his face, shakes hands with the Chief Justice of the United States, the success of the Supreme Court who held the two Bibles, now turns to shake hands with Vice President Barclay. And now the President turns to the speaker's stand. Someone has left a little pile of wires on it. Calmly, he lifts them up, puts them underneath the stand, and picks up his manuscript for his inaugural address. In a moment, the President Mr. again. Mr. Vice President, Mr. Chief Justice, Fellow citizens, I accept with humility the honor which the American people has conferred upon me. I accept it with a resolve to do all that I can for the welfare of this nation and for the peace of the world. In performing the duties of my office, I need the help and the prayers of every one of you. I ask for your encouragement and for your support. The tasks we face are difficult. We can accomplish them only if we work together. Each period of our national history has had its special challenges. Those that confront us now are as momentous as any in the past. Today marks the beginning not only of a new administration, but of a period that will be eventful, perhaps decisive for us and for the world. It may be our lot to experience and, a lot, and in a large measure bring about a major turning point in the long history of the human race. The first half of this century has been marked by unprecedented and brutal attacks on the rights of man, and by the two most frightful wars in history. The supreme need of our time is for men to learn to live together in peace and harmony.